Good evening, everyone. A major intersection in Manatee County is not expected to reopen anytime soon after a tanker fell off a bridge and exploded. The video from the Interstate Inferno is remarkable. This is home video taken by someone who was driving over the I-75 bridge just moments after the explosion. And as you can see, massive amounts of smoke billowed into the air from both sides of this bridge. It could be days, weeks, maybe even longer before the bridge reopens, and that will mean big headaches for drivers. Interstate 75 and U.S. 301 in Manatee County are closed in both directions. This is right next to the Ellington Prime Outlet Mall. The biggest problem tonight, the structure of the bridge has been weakened, and the video shows why. A fireball from the tanker that went over the edge seriously burned the bridge and the support columns. We have team coverage of the Interstate Inferno. Peter Bernard will have more on that amazing video shot by a local photographer. But we'll begin with Samara Sotos live on the scene. Keith, I just checked with FHP officials and they tell me there is no way to determine when this exchange is going to reopen. Right now they have engineers working on it, examining the bridge. They're going to have these engineers looking at it all night long. For now, there's just a lot of relief and amazement that more people weren't injured in this wreck. Moments after the tanker plunged from the southbound lanes of Interstate 75 in Ellington, a driver and professional photographer captured these images of the aftermath. Manatee County investigators say a tanker truck filled with gas and diesel, unable to avoid a pickup truck, spun out of control and fell over the side of the bridge. Investigators say the driver of the tanker suffered burns over 90% of his body. He's in critical condition. Two other drivers were injured in the accident, slamming into each other after the tanker exploded. The driver of the pickup that started the chain reaction says the rain caused him to slide. I saw the explosion when I ran away and because it's, it's, it started like very fast, all the fire and the smoke. Um, I don't remember anything more. Now the flames all the way over on the other side of the interstate. A surveillance camera from a nearby store that sells surveillance cameras also captured the explosion. Just a huge bellow of black smoke. I mean huge. And then a huge flame started after that. The accident caused rush hour traffic backups for miles. Engineers spent the night figuring out how much damage has been done. At last check, the driver of that tanker truck is still in critical condition, and they just got around to removing the wreckage of his truck just now. Officials out here wanted me to pass along this information to you. They say if you can avoid this area, please do. But if you have to come around here, definitely leave early tomorrow morning. Live in Manatee County, Samara Sotis, News Channel 8.